poison ivy is ubiquitous and found in many areas and, and in here in, in Kansas, it, it is in every county in Kansas. To avoid poison ivy dermatitis, just be aware of your surroundings. When you approach uh, a brushy area, know that there's potential for poison ivy to be there. And one of the things that I look for first are the leaves of three. Uh, the saying, leaves of three, let it be. Well, we have a good amount of poison ivy here on this tree. Poison ivy has several growth habits. First of all, it, it runs on the ground like a ground cover. It can climb a tree uh, like a vine, and it can also grow as a shrub. Poison ivy has a compound leaf. It's three leaflets, and uh, the unique feature of this three leaflets is that the center leaflet has a stalk and the side leaflets do not. The side leaflets are attached directly to the stem. Another feature of poison ivy is the fuzzy rope. Fuzzy rope appearance, the vine as it attaches to trees and, and fences and walls on buildings. And if you see the fuzzy rope, it may be poison ivy or it may be another plant that kind of looks kind of like poison ivy, but it's not. It's a non-poisonous plant called Virginia creeper. Virginia creeper has a compound leaf just as poison ivy does, but Virginia creeper has a uh, compound leaf of five leaflets, not three. And on Virginia creeper, the leaflets have no stalks. They all join together at the center, and it's very easy to uh, tell Virginia creeper from poison ivy. When it comes to poison ivy, just be aware of your surroundings. When you approach trees and shrubs, uh, especially in parks, uh, be careful and uh, take a look. Make sure you don't see the leaves of three. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.